Hello everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and I'm excited to give you this episode because it is going to talk about Cisco's brand new Learning Labs, which is their stab at GNS3. So a lot of people have been playing around with virtualized routers inside of GNS3. Cisco's going to try to beat that by running their IOU which also gives layer two functionality. So VLANs and all that good stuff. So how do you find Cisco Learning Labs? Well, you could use Google and you'll find something really interesting here. Someone's done their SEO and the ethereal mind comes up first. Cisco, Cisco's own site comes up third. So that's awesome. Click on that Cisco site and you'll be given basically a product page. Go to view lab bundles now. I'm going to take a hit for the team and I'm going to buy the CCNP switching part. And you're given this and they've got learning labs for all different levels from CCNA to CCNP to CCIP. I, I've got all these certifications already, but you know, helps to review, especially when you're studying for CCIE. Incidentally, they don't have CCIE just yet, but I would bet that they would probably have it within a year or two, hopefully sooner rather than later. So all you have to do is go here and you'll see that they are offered in 25 hour bundles. So you are able to log in for 25 hours within 90 days. If you need more time, you can buy five hour extensions. So CCNP 25 hour bundle, I'm gonna click add to cart. Uh, let's just see what the CCNA stuff is. So the CCNA stuff, I see in the 25 hours is $50. So basically $2 an hour for CCNA and for CCNP, that's gonna be about $3 per hour, not too shabby. So let's see, where was I here? CCNA, CCNP switch, I'm gonna click add to cart. And it's added to my cart, I think. So where do we go? Check out here, I'm gonna check out. Okay, I've got uh, CCNP switch 25 hours and I'm going to log in to purchase. So it looks like you will need a Cisco learning ID, which is not too bad. You can make it for free. I'm going to pause this video for now while I enter in this login information. So it's going to be top secret. Okay, I've logged in with my Cisco user ID and now I've been given this uh, wonderful order number product page thingamabobber and let's see what we've got purchase the above items I probably want to click on that uh, coupon hmm. wish I had a coupon to make it cheaper but I don't okay you can see they accept PayPal wire transfer fee of 30 bucks oh my god that's a lot purchase order I've got a debit card so click continue right there Billing address, all this good. Whoa, didn't want to show that. Uh, okay, I'm going to fill this out. I'm going to pause it and hopefully remember to black out this information later. All right, I'm back. I've entered in all of my credit card information and clicked on checkout. So I've already bought this and it's going to send me an email saying how to log in. But what I, what you can see right here, it tells you everything. And then on the right hand side, it says launch learning. I'm going to click on that and this is in Chrome, so I'm going to cross my fingers and see if it's actually going to work. Opens up another pop-up window. It's thinking. And we've got a EULA user agreement here. Yeah, sure. I'm going to click continue. Okay, select locale. English sounds good select time zone Pacific time it's loading a whole bunch of stuff in the background okay so Cisco Learning Lab CCNP switch all that good stuff whoa and it looks like it redirected me somewhere hopefully all this waiting is only done on the first time and the other times will be quite much quicker. Okay, network user authentication is good. Okay, log in now, why not? Cisco Learning Labs. I hope this is my Cisco user ID. I'm gonna pause the video and give it a shot. 
All right, we're back and you can see it's asking for username and password. This is a second username and password prompt, which kind of sucks. Another thing is that the password you, that they want for this is different than your regular Cisco password. So the password you have to use will be emailed to you after you buy your learning labs, which kind of sucks. So I'm gonna pause this again while I enter in this information. Okay, I'm past that other password prompt and look at here, we have another EULA, Jesus. And I'm gonna just accept this. So two EULAs, two password boxes. All right, once you get past all those password prompts, you will be given a available labs page right here. You can see all the different labs that they have, starting with switch lab 1-1, new hire test. You can start the lab or continue, pause it, all that good stuff. You can see here that I've already started lab 1-1 and if I click continue lab, I will just go back into it. A running total of the time you've used is in the upper right hand corner. You can see right here, I've used a grand total of 1.1 minutes, pretty awesome. And then at the bottom, you see a download section, a Cisco terminal installer. You want to download that because this is going to give you Telnet access into these routers. Okay, so I'm gonna to go to switch lab 1-1, click on that. And here's what's awesome. It's going to give you a intro page you click on resume lab and then the the time will start ticking down from there when you click exit from a lab the time stops which is pretty awesome so here you're given a network topology I've got uh, four switches right there two routers uh, two stupid switches right here and then a couple of client machines my cursor changes on each of these devices that means I can click on them to open them up and then you have tasks and diagrams here for more information. You have a background information. Let's see, manage devices. Let's click on that. This is pretty cool. It lists all the devices, so all these switches and clients and all that. And you can console into them from here, which is pretty easy. You could also console in just by clicking on the icons. You can clear the console, which blanks it out. You could power cycle it, or you could reload the initial configuration. This is pretty awesome. You could pile, power cycle everything just to get back to initial state. I wish they had reload configuration for everything right here, but I guess this is good enough. Okay, let's get into a switch. Click on there. Okay, it's going to Chrome wants to launch something else. So remember that choice, launch application. And we're into our switch. Hit, hit enter a couple times. Enable Okay, show ver. Let's just check it out. See what's up here. 12 2, all that good stuff. Config register, Solaris Unix. So you can definitely see this is running iOS on Unix, but you know, that's all right. Let's do a question mark, see what available commands I have. Lots of good commands. Show question mark. So I got lots of lots of cool commands there. Show VLAN question mark. Okay, show VLAN summary. So you can see here it basically works like a regular switch. Now for those of you who have played around with Packet Tracer, Packet Tracer does have some switch functionality, but it definitely does not have all of the commands. Here inside of these learning labs, these switches pretty much function like normal. Okay. Now in the CCNP switch part, you probably don't have as many commands as you would need for the CCIE lab, but it will get you probably, uh, you know, I'm make, making a guess here, but probably 70% of the way there. Okay, to close out this terminal, I'm just going to click on X, and to stop my time, I just click on Exit. And we're out of there. Okay, so that was a quick and easy tour of Cisco's Learning Labs. Uh, it's kind of, the sign-up process is kind of messed up. Uh, also, logging in the first time is kind of kind of scary. You can see that it runs on Chrome without too much of a problem. And it's not too bad. I'm going to play around with this uh, for a couple hours, and then I will make an update to this video. Thanks for watching.